Hey folks, have a disassembled, well I should say partially disassembled lead acid battery, actually see AGM type, and I wanted to show everybody uh, the plates in case they've never seen one out of a battery, and here it is, here's the one negative plate, you can see it's a light grey colour, and if you really look good you can actually see the grid of the lead itself and then inside that grid and what I mean by grid if you look very carefully you can see them little squares well in them little squares that's actually uh, packed paste so that's a lead paste that's packed in each and every little square you can see there on that grid And you can see that the plates are different color and that's because they're different materials. The grid itself with all them little squares you see that's the grid. That material and the material for this grid is the same material but the material material that's actually packed within that which is in a paste form is different material. This on a positive plate is what they call it a, a red lead And there's actually quite a bit of a difference. Thickness of the positive plate is so, and thickness of the negative plate is so. A lot thinner than the positive plate. Let me show you comparison here with the two of them put together you can see the difference between the plate thicknesses now for the most part when a lead acid battery goes bad for the most part it's the positive plate that's deteriorated to the point there it's just uh, this plate here is actually not too bad a shape a little bit of cracks and whatnot in there but that's still manageable to produce current and receive and receive and uh, discharge and the same with a negative plate. Now, I wanted to show you some of this red lead stuff. I have some broken up plates, and this here is all red lead. That's the stuff that is in the positive plates. Now, this stuff's not too cheap. Now, I want to try and um, basically rebuild some batteries. And I have all this red lead here to use. And what I'm going to have to do here is get it back into a powder form, remove all the bigger stuff, which this is here is, is lead itself. And these little square pieces, which is the part that's pressed into the grid, that's actually the uh, red lead. It comes in a powder and it needs to be mixed with a sulfuric acid to be like a paste, like a thick mud basically texture. Just a pasty form, and then it gets pressed into the grid plate. Let's see if I have a big enough piece of grid in here that will show. No, I don't think so. They're all busted up. Needs to be all cleaned up yet. And then crushed down and cleaned and sifted. And oh, there's a bunch of involvements. To get it to the point before it's ready to use, that's for sure. This stuff here, the red lead, in case anybody wants to know. Um, the last price I got was 10 kilograms for about $600. Just to go to show you, I think, I think 10 kilo is about 22 pounds, 22 something pounds. So it's not too cheap of stuff. It's one of the reasons why batteries are very expensive, especially the lead acid type. It's due to those reasons, the expense. Well, see, I just broke that one. It's broke. So I'll just put it amongst that. But you can see these are different. You can see the color difference here. This is still, this is still the red lead. 
compares to the negative one. But there is a difference between the color of this red lead and that red lead. You can see the difference in there. Same stuff, same materials, just they have different additives when they actually made the paste for this particular battery and they made the paste for this particular battery. There was a few different additives. From what I understand, uh, places add a lot of different things to it. There's even little bits and pieces of fiberglass added to this to kind of give it some strength. Fibery strength. Anyhow, folks, I'm not a professional. It's just something I'm playing with and I'm going to continue doing so. Learning is a good thing. Here's part of the old grid. This grid here is about a quarter inch thick. Very thick, deep cycle type. I'll do some more videos when I get this stuff all crushed up and broke down and sifted out. Basically purified. And I'll show everybody what it looks like. And then I might even make some videos on actually um, overhauling the battery itself. Rebuilding it basically, just the positive plate. I'm not going to do the negative plates because the negative plates are in perfect shape. It's just the negative, the positive plates that are actually in bad shape. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not and thank you very much for those that have.